Good morning. I want to give an update on my Pakistani mulberry cuttings that I just planted a couple of days ago in pots. Uh, I got this from um, my temple in Pomona and basically we took um, a young branch and then kind of long maybe like I don't know a few feet and then we cut them into three sections. Let me show you what they look like in pots. So it is one cutting that I put in. I just used a uh, regular potting mix here. It might have some fertilizer in here. And I keep this under shade for now. And it is another section. You probably see a little uh, bud here coming out. And here's another one. And the weather here is kind of cooling down a little bit at night it might drop like below 60 or, you know but anyway keep them you know moist uh, probably every every few days i check on the water here you don't want to soak them wet all the time right so maybe every every two days or so i'll come and water them and hopefully this bud or this bud will start to come out like leaves so that means that they're successful at least that good and these <laughs> I have a little mulberry here, but they're getting pretty long, maybe about you know not as big as my uh, little finger here. But uh, keep some quick update on my garden here on cilantro. Uh, so I want to give you more update on my garden and what I'm growing. Uh, this is my sweet potato that have uh, that growing slips. Uh, I started this in house maybe like. It took a while actually, maybe I would say like, my goodness, almost two months to come up like this. So I'm gonna be probably planting them in a big container in the ground, we'll see. I'll, I'll make a video on that. So as you see here, I just use a, you know, cup here and a lot of people, you know, f do the same thing here and uh, toothpicks here and uh, just fill up a lot of root here, you see. I have full of them, so anyway. I will be growing them pretty soon because you can also harvest uh, the leaves here. That's my main thing. I mean, of course, if they produce sweet potatoes, you can harvest those as well. But I'm going to be using this for salad or stir fry when they get bigger. So let me take you to my garden. So what I have here, actually bought this from, I think, Lowe's or Home Depot, Holy Basil for like, uh, is it 18 I think it was cheaper than that. Well, sorry, this is a different wrong label. I think I got this for like cheap, maybe like $4 or something like that. I haven't used them yet. I also have uh, long beans here. Those are uh, Thai's, um, Thai basil, different kind of, uh, different types of basil. Uh, lemongrass here that I bought from store. And a variety of uh, uh, tomatoes, uh, cucumber here, leaf. Um, this is from actually Thailand. It's called makhe uh, puang, which is some sort of small egg plants that that grow in clusters, tiny little green um, uh, egg plants that we use in curry. And this is a bush tomato here, doing well and. Uh, I think those are chichito peppers, uh, some sort of uh, chard here. Should go very, very big. We'll see how they, they grow. Uh, first time I'm growing this, I believe they call it like uh, some sort of uh, spinach, which is big leaf spinach. That's another name. Oh, okay, and this is the uh, same thing here. Um, Colored green, three colored cuttings that I'm growing. So look like they, it might be doing okay. Look at this. Uh, anyway, uh, there are cuttings that I started maybe like three weeks ago. This is some more sort of herb, beautiful herb here. It's one of my cherry tomato. Start having fruits now. Little green uh, tomatoes. 
So I have uh, three tomato plants here. One, two, three. It is the uh, peas. They're getting harder now. I have to harvest them. They're probably toward the end of their season. Uh, mint. It's getting hot here, so I get, uh, you know, they're not, they're doing okay, but they look a little yellow. Uh, still have a curly, curly kale here that I can harvest. This is a uh, laotian, uh, some sort of laotian vegetable for salad. My kale. This is uh, some sort of herb using for, for soup. Uh, actually use it with pork blood soup. Pork blood soup. <laughs> I don't think Americans eat that. So anyway, uh, some kale, cilantro is going really big, and these are my uh, chili pepper, hot pepper. Uh, I think uh, I haven't seen any flower yet. Doing well with my uh, dragon fruit here. I try to grow everything together and put, you know, give them fertilizer. So this is really, really good. I have more stuff here, but I think this is some sort of shiny. Uh, uh, bok choy, some salt, you know, something like that, and they start to bolt because it's getting pretty hot here. So I might harvest them. They're still tiny, so I start them actually a while back, maybe a month and a half. Uh, I think this might be probably um, beet. Some more long bean here that I grow very easy to grow. They will uh, grow up in vines, and you know. They'll produce long, skinny beans. You know, that is good for like uh, Asian cooking and things like that. So I think that's pretty Excited. much uh, to wait and see how my uh, uh, mulberry are growing. I will give you folks an update within, you know, in a month or so and see how it goes. Hopefully this bud gonna, like I say, come out more. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed this big, you know, once they get big, hopefully maybe a year or so that I can enjoy um, uh, their mulberries. Thanks for watching again and we'll see you folks on the next video. Click like if you enjoy this kind of video and click the bell so you can get my next videos. And again, comment whatever you like to say or what you like to see in the future. I'd be happy to, to do it if, whenever possible. Thanks again. Bye. Have a great day and stay safe.